Hey, Girl Scouts! Welcome to the 2022 Cookie Rally. Who's excited to rally? I hope it's not just me. This isn't exactly how we planned it, but we are so excited to all be together again to kick off what will certainly be an adventureful cookie season. Thank you so much for joining us from wherever you are and for climbing with courage with us this season. My name is Eden and I am so excited to help bring the fun today. Um, now, before we get started, I do wanna give a huge shout out real quick to our service unit teams who went above and beyond helping us plan for this 2022 program. These groups were planning awesome in-person rallies that earlier this week put in so much effort and care to help package up materials to make sure you all got your rally kits. Without their hard work, this would not have been possible. So thank you all so, 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 so much. I do not think it could be understated. As a reminder, this rally is being recorded right now. So our Girl Scout family who couldn't join us this afternoon will get to check out all the fun later. You can check out our Cookie Rally website at the URL on the screen right now, later for the recording, um, all of our videos, downloads of the activity sheets and you know tips and tricks. Girls who registered for the rallies will have all the materials to complete these activities in their rally kits. And don't worry, we're going to have a special unboxing here soon to check out all the goods. But for those without kits, all the materials are also listed on the activity sheets on the website. We can't see your camera, so feel free to make whatever goofy faces you want. As soon as my camera is turned off, I certainly plan to. Remember that not just now, that but throughout the sale, if you need any help, support, um, guidance, you can always reach out to us through customer care. The Hornet's Nest team is so happy to help you succeed and we're rooting for you. Now, speaking of the Hornet's Nest team, it is my pleasure to welcome our CEO, Tawani Dewberry, to her very first cookie rally. So give her a warm, warm welcome. She is going to help us get this party started. Good afternoon, Girl Scouts, and welcome to Cookie Rally 2022. I am Tawani Dewberry, as Eden mentioned. And I am so excited to be with you this year, but most importantly, I am excited to be a part of this great organization, thrilled to be with you, um, amazing individuals here in our community. Um, I'm excited about cookies, of course, because I am probably the, the essence of what people would consider the cookie monster. Um, this actually reminds me of my years as a Girl Scout growing up. Um, the fun times that I had with my friends at camp and in meetings, but nothing quite measured up to the excitement that I had during cookie season. I'm not sure if I enjoyed more being with the people, talking to folks, or if the excitement was really around being able to have the cookies. Um, of course, everybody knows that thin mints are the best cookie, at least in my opinion. Um, it's certainly my favorite, but not only that, everybody knows that the best way to eat a thin mint is straight out of the freezer. In fact, I think I have a box from last year in the freezer now, so maybe that'll be my post-rally treat. But on another note, I, on a serious note, I am so excited because I, I'm aware of the skills and the confidence that I gained as a Girl Scout and participating in the activities um, like the cookie program, uh, they certainly helped me to develop and grow and become uh, the person that I am to lead this phenomenal organization today. And so I wish you all loads of fun, loads of fun and great success during this season. Thank you all for joining us this year. I look forward to hopefully seeing you all as we culminate uh, a little later on in the year in person. But thank you for joining us today in this virtual cookie rally. And I look forward to the great success we'll have going forward. Have a wonderful rally. Thanks, Tawani. Hi, Girl Scout friends. I'm gonna take over for a little bit and have a little bit of fun. I don't know about you, but I am feeling pretty hype about this cookie season. Dare I say it's full of adventures, maybe in a venture full season. 
I don't know. So I'm Tiffany Brian Jackson, and we're going to do a little bit of unboxing here today. Uh, you may have had a chance to pick up your kit. Oh, hold on. Going to have to turn off that background so you can see what I am doing. Give me one second, because we've got to share, right? Boom. There we go. I don't know about you, but I was really excited when I had a chance to pick up uh, my kit this year. So together, we are going to do some unboxing. If you have your kit with you, feel free to do it as well. If you don't, no worries. You can have your own special unboxing with the fam later, okay? This is just to show you what we have. I'm gonna show you each of the activities, what comes in the kit. We're not gonna put together the activities now, so don't you worry, there's nothing to keep up with. But I wanna share what we have so you can have fun um, working on them later with yourself or with your troops. So, do not worry about trying to keep up with me. Now let's start with the first activity. What is the first thing we need to do when we jump into cookie season? Well, we gotta set goals. So we have our koala gold tree kit. So that's your activity number one in your kit and it should look like this. The very first thing we do with our troop is we sat down and figure out what goals we have for the year. Maybe our troop is taking a big trip or maybe I just have something I really want to accomplish in the cookie season. What rewards do I want? I know what rewards I have my eye on, and I'm sure you do too when you look at the back of your cookie sheet. So we have to decide and set that first. That's the very first thing we always do. I personally like to set two goals. I like to set a baby goal, and that's, try, that's what I try and get in initial order. And then I set a big goal. My, my first goal is always, always the stuffed animal. I'm just gonna put that out there now, no matter what happens, I'm aiming for a stuffed animal and then I'm aiming high, okay? So what do we have in our koala kit? The wonderful thing about your kit is all the instructions come in your kit. So you can see what the activity is, what supplies you need and the instructions to put it together. So in this kit, you also have those items. So your card stock is in this kit. That's one of the first things it says you need. Your pipe cleaner is in this kit. I'm hiding mine in the bag, but it's in there. And then you've got your clip art, which is right here for us to make. You'll need at home a hole punch, taper glue, and some markers just so you can put it together. And then when it's done and all together, are you ready to see what mine looks like? Because it's pretty cool. Ready? A uh, ta-da. I just want to show you when you're done, your koala moves. So if you set that, Carowind's goal, there we are. If you're like me and you set two goals, you can move it down for your baby goal for initial order and then boom, skyrocket it. You might even go past the sheep. I don't know, we've got some great sellers here in Hornets Nets Council. So that is your very first activity. Now your second activity, let me pull it out for you, is the supplies to make your own vision board. If you've never made a vision board, it's pretty fun. A vision board helps you visually see your goals in front of you. So you'll need a few things to get that done. And here's that kit right here in this bag. So this tells you you'll need a poster board, which you have in your thing. So you should have a pretty large poster board inside. And then you'll need clips, tape, glue, magazines, and all that so you can put your ideals on your vision board. Uh, be creative, have fun, use all the elements. We've even got some clip art in there for you. And you can draw, if you love drawing, draw on there as well. Cut out, find images all around to make your vision board. And you wanna see what my vision board for this year looks like? Again, I've got some big goals. Here we are. So here's me, here's my goal, because listen, I'm going to Carolyn's. There are some other things I wanna accomplish this year. And so I'm gonna hang this in my room so that I can keep an eye out on what my goals are for the rest of the year. The next activity is what every cookie boss needs, right? When you're talking about cookies and you have to tell people what's going on, you need a sales pitch. So the next activity will help you write your own elevator pitch. Uh, you can use a template to fill out your own pitch and then practice with your friends and families and then get some samples of like customer answers because 
you want to know what you're talking about when you're selling cookies. Now, some of you are pros. You've been doing this for a long time, so you kind of have your pitch, but there's nothing wrong with a little extra practice and holding it in. So in this particular kit, you're going to have exactly how to create your elevator pitch. So you don't have to go Google anything. It's all right here for you. It's going to tell you how to do it, possible responses you may get for customers. That's helpful so you can know what kind of answers you can come up with. So here is the template we've included so you can write out for yourself what your Girl Scout pitch would be for cookie seasons. So I finished mine and I'll read what it says. It says, hi, my name is Tiffany and please help me reach my goal of selling 1000 packages so my troop can go on adventures together and help better our community. You can order by visiting my cookie site. That's where you put in your digital cookie link or some of you have QR codes from the previous years, get creative. Or you can order by phone or email if you reach out to my adult helper. And for me, my adult helper is Colleen. And then they'll reach out to her so that we can sell and reach that goal. It's really good to do on your own, with your fam, or with your troop. You can practice on each other. If you have never heard of an elevator speech, go to Shark Tank Jr., okay? Shark Tank Jr. gets it in there. And you learn how to make a really good speech really quickly. All right. Speaking of good places to have an elevator speech, it's a cookie booth. But what do you need at a cookie booth? Well, you're gonna need an activity that helps bring resources together so that people can see what's on your cookie menu. So you're gonna make a cookie menu board, all right? So that is our fourth activity. So inside that kit, you're gonna get a pretty large poster. Here is your poster. You guys know these, if you're in school, You've made a poster for a thing or two in your day. I don't think you're new to that. You'll need tape, glue, scissors, and you're going to let people know exactly what cookies you have at your booth, how much the cookies are. Inside, there's clips so that you can share that with everyone. Also pretty eye-catching when people walk up to your booth. There you go. And so you want to take all of that put it together in a giant poster board. And let's see if I can get this in my screen because we're working in my office, it's not that big. Here is my cookie menu right here. So here it is all done. And I'm gonna keep that at my cookie booths this season so people know exactly what I have, how much it costs and what they're ordering from me, right? You need that. Remember that our cookie prices have changed this year. So everything is $5 except for our gluten-free toffee tastics, which are six this year. And that menu will help you remember that. It will also help our customers see that before they come up to your booth. Next, in honor of our new cookie, you get to make an adventureful swap. Swaps are my favorite. If you've ever met me, some of you have, some of you haven't. I love a swap love a swap okay you get to customize and trade them with other girl scouts and it's a pretty fun activity to do with your troop you'll get this kit which is your kit activity five and inside that kit again all our kits have handy dandy instructions so you're never lost you'll also get your tags to attach it to you'll get safety pins two different colors of felt and your pipe cleaner again all your instructions are here so you're never alone when you're creating that particular activity. And then all your supplies are also in the bag. Now, if we were in a kitchen, I'd say mix all that supplies together. And what do we get? We get a pretty fantastic swap. Here we go. This is your swap for this year. It's an adventure fold. It's got room on the back for you to personalize it or hear your troop. And it's great because I have a feeling every time you see a new Girl Scout, this year has been a little crazy and we don't get to see our friends as often. So when you pass one, it's a great time to swap and trade something cool this year, okay? If you've never done a swap before, I'm telling you, get into it. You'll have so much fun. I happen to be like a crafty girl or whatever, you can be too. Finally, it's our sixth activity. And to be honest, it's less of an activity and more of a tasting. Yes, I said tasting. So. It's all due to our new adventure folds. And 
you got to try it. How can you talk to people about the new cookie if you've never, ever tried it? So your activity six comes, boom, with your own cookie to try. So I'm going to open this here. You know, when you're selling an item, you've got to be the expert on the item. I don't know about you, but a good cookie tasting every year is a good way to remind myself what's delicious about every cookie. And then I want to share that with my friends. So because this is new, not many people know what it tastes like. You're the one to help the customers know, describe the cookie to them, and they'll all want to know what the new cookie is like before you buy it, right? It's pretty delicious. I'm not going to eat it on camera because you don't need to see that, all right? That, guys, is everything in your kit. How fun is that? Oh, wait, one more thing in your kit. If you did pick up your kit or you did it, one of my favorite things about being a Girl Scout is when I finish something, I get a patch. So each of you has your cookie rally patch for 2022. I know where I'm putting mine. Yes, I'm an adult. And yes, I have a special place for my patches. It's what I do but you guys will put yours on the back of your uniforms and it's pretty cute, is it not? It's the koala this year. So that's everything in your kit. Now remember, you get to take your time and really make your kit later. Take some time to prep, spread out. And when you finish your activities, you can even show us how it turned out. I'd love to see it. Uh, seeing what you guys do are some of my most favorite things. So email a video or a short video or a photo of you finished with your activities with your name and troop number to the marketing email on the screen. All right. And then you might get a chance to be featured. Again, I love looking at what you guys do. So you really, really should get into it. It's great to do with your fam and with your troop. All right. We can't share or we can't wait, sorry, we can't share. We can't wait to share some of it on our social media in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for all that. Thanks guys for tuning in for my unboxing. I had a blast. I hope you have a blast making the activities. I can't see what, can't wait to see what you guys do this cookie season. I'll see you later. Whoa, thank you. So much, Tiffany. Those activities look so fun and seem like such great ways to set goals and help us all get really prepared for this cookie season. It was so great to learn about some of Tiffany's goals, and I hope I get to join you at Carowinds this year. Um, and Girl Scouts, I cannot wait to see some of your finished designs too. So we all know that getting prepared is really such an important part of selling cookies. And, you know, it just goes to show through all of those activities that Tiffany just took us through but you don't have to take it from us. Uh, some of our top sellers from last season have a few other important tips and tricks to share with you all in a little bit of a special message. From one cookie boss to another, let's see what our previous top sellers have to say. Hi, I'm Ala, and I'm from Truth to and I'm here to share with you all my best cookie tips. Always, under any circumstances, no matter what, bring a bag full of cookies with you wherever you go. And don't forget your best. You never know who will want to buy from you. Except people. Bye. Hi, I'm Eva, a kid up from 2064. And here's some tips. Tip one, shout. Tip two, door time. Tip three, courtesy. Tip four, on delivery. Tip five, repeat orders. And tip six, wagon sales. Tip one, maps. My mom and I print out maps of our area sales. We create highlighted areas on the maps, count the houses, and plan walking routes. We start the area closest to our house and fan out from there. As we go along, I mark on the maps the houses we have covered. Tip two, door tags. I use door tags with my photo, QR code, and a phone number for text orders. We order our tags from Etsy. On the door tag, we use my mom's phone number for safety precautions. I am reading the doorbell wait, and if there's no response, I always leave the door tag. Tip three, courtesy. I always thank my customers and respond to their orders and text promptly. Tip four, my mom entered all the customer phone numbers and address into her phone so I can deliver my cookies efficiently. 
When I initial orders arrive, I promptly coordinate deliveries with my customer via text. I personally deliver the cookies with a thank you tag attached. Tip five, repeat orders. The thank you tags has my QR code and phone number and a non explain they can order more cookies later if they can like. I get a good amount of repeat orders this way. Tip six, wagon sales. After the initial order of cookies is delivered, I begin my wagon sales. My mom and I stock the wagon with cookies based on the percentage of cookie popular. We continue our door tag door sales using our map selling wagon and direct off the wagon. Be, be forewarned, this involves a, quite a few trips to cookie counter to find cases of cookies. During my wagon sales, I add a new note to my order tags offering a 24 hour delivery service. I always honor my 24 hour delivery promise. New this year, I'm using the business cards to hand out the potential customers when I am out and about. Thank you for listening and goodbye. Hello Girl Scouts, my name is Madison Miller from Troop 1782 and I just wanted to pop in and give some of my personal tips that have helped me sell Girl Scout cookies for the last five years. My first tip is to don't be afraid to talk to your customers. Don't be afraid to interact with potential customers and, you know, get them to check out your booth. It's really a great way of ensuring that, you know, people see you and buy from you. And Another tip for just life in general is have fun. Sales aren't always the most important thing. And generally your enjoyment is what you're gonna take away from selling Girl Scout cookies. I think it's important to sell, but it's important to have fun while you're doing it. All right, those were some awesome tips. Thank you so much, Girl Scouts. Uh, I think it's always so great to hear from some of our cookie bosses about what has helped them achieve their goals in the past. And I know I certainly learned a little something from that. This season, our cookie program is all around the koala who you see on the screen right now and how we can all climb with courage together. It'll be such an adventure and I know that we will all do amazing things together. Speaking of amazing things together, you all are already off to an amazing start <laughs> with over 60,000 packages of cookies sold. And that's just through digital cookie alone. That is absolutely amazing. And it is entirely because of all of you. Don't forget about some of the early rewards that you can earn throughout the season. You and your troop leaders can earn great rewards through the troop starting order. And the deadline to submit that is coming up in just over a week. And by participating in our online cookie sale through Digital Cookie, which it seems like you guys are already knocking out of the park, you can earn our exclusive Cookie Techie patch just for sending 20 emails to the platform by the 19th, a patch with, which fits with two other patches that we're offering this year, so you can rock a complete set on your vest. And it's crazy times, so perhaps more important than ever, our Cookies for a Cause program is back again this year. Our hometown heroes, including first response teams, hospitals, schools and teachers, food banks, the armed forces, and so, so, so many other causes that are so near and dear to all of our hearts receive thousands, I'm saying thousands of boxes of cookies each year, thanks to the donations that you guys raised during the sale. We hope that you'll climb with courage with us all season long. And that cute koala mascot has made her way throughout our entire rewards lineup from 25 to 750 packages. And we are so excited for you to get your own koala plush at 250, featuring our new Adventure Bowls cookie proudly on her foot. From journals, bandanas, cozy slipper socks, the ever popular 500 plus club t-shirt and a camping set, there are so many awesome rewards to get excited about this year. Also at the 500 plus level, you will have the exclusive opportunity to adopt Charlotte the koala. Yes, her name is actually Charlotte. <laughs> we'll meet her in just a few minutes, but I know you're gonna love her as much as we do. Our top rewards 
are packed with experiences that are definitely going to get our goal getters really excited this year. At 1,000 packages, girls have the option to receive two Carowinds Day Passes. That's where you'll find me and Tiffany. For selling 1,250 packages, girls can join us on a council trip to Riverbank Zoo to see koalas up close. Girls who sell 1,500 packages will be able to help plan and participate in a destination unknown trip later this year. Our 2022 reward level could see girls spending one week at eCamp at the Dale Earnhardt Environmental Leadership Campus at Oak Springs. The 3,000 package level actually has two experience options, either a trip to the 2023 National Girl Scout Convention or a trip to Great Wolf Lodge. And finally, for our record breaker, girls will tap into limitless possibilities with an iPad Air and an Apple class. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but that is a ton of awesome adventure ahead for our Girl Scout cookie bosses. But before we move on, I did promise you guys that you'd get to meet Charlotte and meet her we shall. Now, Charlotte lives in Australia with friends of the koala, so she's not here with me now, but we do have the next best thing. Let's take a look. Hello Girl Scouts of Hornet's Nest. My name is Jonna and I'm a volunteer here at Friends of the Koala and this is Charlotte, one of our permanent koalas. She shares her run with Lauren, another permanent koala, and she's been with us for nearly three years. She was found as a joey where she was abandoned by her mother and it was found that she has really bad hips so she's not very good at climbing. And so we keep her here so she has access to all the food she needs and all of the medical attention that she needs. She eats eucalyptus every day, and she eats about five, a good handful of it and sleeps the rest of the day. We here at Friends of the Koala wish you best of luck with your cookie season, and Charlotte sends her love and best wishes as well. Thank you. Oh, is she not the cutest? I cannot believe it. I am so glad an awesome organization like Friends of the Koala is helping make sure that she gets all of the health, food, and love that she needs. Now that we know what we're climbing toward, helping Charlotte the Koala, earning cool rewards and experiences, let's talk about how you'll do it. To help give you some tips on climbing with courage this season, we really thought, who would be best suited to do that? And we've got our camp team, Summer and Daisy, but you may know them as Breeze and Juliet, with a special message from the Dale Earnhardt Environmental Leadership Campus at Oak Springs. Let's check out what's happening at camp today. Hmm, it seems pretty quiet at camp right now. Where is everyone? Girl Scouts. I'm Breeze. And I'm Juliet. And we're at the Phoenix Tower at the Environmental Leadership Campus at Oak Springs. Just like when you climb with courage this cookie season, the Phoenix Tower has multiple pieces to it to make it successful. You're right, Juliet. First, there's important training that has to happen on the ground before you can begin climbing. Here at the Phoenix Tower, we have safety procedures you have to learn. Just like the safety tips you should always keep in mind when selling cookies. Never climb or sell cookies alone, and be sure you dress the part. When you're selling cookies or climbing the Phoenix Tower, you have to have the right gear on. For me, it's my harness, my helmet, and my closed-toed shoes. But for you, you're going to need your Girl Scout uniform, your order card, and your digital cookie page, just to name a few. You also have a team behind you. It takes more than just the belayer to make sure the climber reaches the top safely. For cookie sales, you should never go door to door or stand at a booth alone. Instead, use your team of caregivers, leaders, and the entire Hornet's Nest Council behind you to help you achieve your goals. Speaking of goals, especially in the beginning, your goal doesn't have to be reaching the top. On the Phoenix Tower, there's many platforms on your way up. So maybe your goal is reaching the second platform this time. That's okay. As long as you're making progress, you're doing great. So whether you sell five or 500 packages of cookies, as long as you set a goal, work really hard, you're doing amazing. All right, are you ready to climb? Let's do this. 
Along your climb, you may hit challenges and plans may have to change. But at the end, when you reach your goal, there is no greater feeling. No matter what, if you can say that you persevered and that you did the best you could, that's the most important part. After you finish your climb, you and your team can celebrate your success together. Oh, I'm really proud of you, Juliet. Thank you, Breeze. I couldn't have done it without you. And we couldn't have done it without you, Girl Scouts. We can't wait to see how you climb with courage this season. Good luck selling cookies, and don't forget to register for camp. Bye. Wow, that was great. I feel so energized now having seen Breeze and Juliet climbing the tower. I just want to, oh, well, I guess I just want to sell cookies. Lucky for me, the season is just getting started. So we have plenty of time to rock this cookie sale together. After you finish your activities from your rally kits, do not forget to send us pictures or video of your favorite activity. We'll be sharing them all season long and can't wait to see how you make them all your own. Thank you so much for joining us this year for our virtual cookie rally. It's not exactly how we plan, but I hope you had as much fun this afternoon as I did. We can't wait to see you all climb with courage this season and have a quality time. Thank you for taking this adventure with us, Girl Scouts. Bye. <laughs>